I thought it was really disrespectful for my dad to do that in the first place because, first of all, you came here to uh, reunite with your kids that you haven't seen in so long. You should be wanting to build a relationship with us, talking to us, get to know us. You know, and you flirt with my mom. What's up, DA Squad? It's DJ Ashanti. Today I have a story time for you guys. I'm going to talk about the day that I saw my dad again after I think like 17 years has been. Yeah, so this is the story time to when he had came to Grand Rapids, Michigan to meet us. Um, I was excited to meet him. Um, I, I don't know, I guess to see what he looked like now and to see how he is now. And I honestly wanted to know if he changed because I have a few memories, you know, of my own. But what really stuck to me is that he put his hands on my mom. And even though I don't have a lot of memories from my childhood, I do remember that. You know, and it's really hard to forget it, you know. And it was, it was other stuff that was going on, too. And I kind of wanted to base, base uh, what I knew and what I was told, but I wanted to see if he was a changed man, you know, if, um, I don't know, I just, I haven't seen him all those years, I just wanted to see what kind of person he was, or whatever. So, okay, so he came, and he came with a friend, he was older, an older guy. Oh, Jamari's here, he wasn't, he's supposed to go to school, but they canceled because the roads is slippery. So you might hear him in the background watching TV. But um, yeah, so he came and he came with his friend and we all met up at a motel. Yes, a motel. It was me, my two sis two of my sisters. Wait, was it two? Yeah, two of my sisters. So so one of his daughters didn't come. The other the other sister isn't his daughter, so she didn't go. And then um, my brother came too. And then my one of my sisters had brought her two kids. So we all had met up at the motel. Jamari, you're quiet. We all met up at the motel. And you know, saying our highs, your hugs, or whatever. So I believe I was 18 when I saw him again. So, I mean, it was okay at first or whatever. My dad had his clippers, he ended up cutting my brother's hair or lined him up or something like that. So, you know, so far everything was going good. And I was just like looking at him and stuff like, just to see how he was, you know. Like he seemed real cool, like real goofy and stuff. And, you know, he was cracking jokes and stuff. And, um, it was really weird with my mom and him. Like, it was just like weird. I don't know, cause they, I guess that that's the, the man she had the longest relationship with. You know, so I think they always gonna have some type of connection. You know, at the time, I don't think she was dating anybody, but it was so weird. Like, I noticed that out of the blue, he had bent my mom over. Like, she was by, the, by this chair on the side. All of us is in there, okay? So me, two of my sisters, and my brother, and the kids. I don't know who all saw it, because everybody was doing their own thing. Somebody, some, people, some of us watched, well, I was watching TV, the kids was doing their own thing, probably on phones and stuff. But he bent her over and stuff, and then she looked at him like joking and stuff. It was like, I told you not in front of the kids. And I was like, what? Like, I thought that was really weird. It, it seems like, I don't know. 
it just it just looks really ah, weird. Ah, I ah, thought ah, it was ah. why is my I thought it was really disrespectful for my dad to do that in the first place because first of all you came here to uh, reunite with your kids that you haven't seen in so long. You should be wanting to build a relationship with us, talking to us, get to know us. You know, and you flirt with my mom, you know what I'm saying? Like, and you bend her over in front of us. Like, that was very disrespectful. Very, she stopped him and everything, but I thought that was very disrespectful. And then another thing he did that reminded me of my childhood was he um, jokingly offered my, my nephew a sip of his beer. And I didn't like that because it just... Cause he did that with us. I remember him. Cause we, cause you know, kids, they they want anything that you got, you know. So he always was drinking beer. So I remember asking him for some, and he let me drink some. And I was like, I ain't like it, cause beer is nasty. But he let me drink some. And so I was little. I was really little. But I don't know. I just, I just don't think. It was just every. It was just so weird. It was very weird. I feel like most of his attention was on my mom than us. And then <laughs> it's another incident that happened. We had rolled to the store. My dad had some weed, and we had went to the store. Now I don't be smoking like I have before, but I don't be smoking or whatever. But, um, and then, um, so on our way back, because my mom was driving, and my dad was in the front, and my mom was driving, and the police pulled us over, and my dad had some weed on him, and, you know, it wasn't legal at the time. So he was trying to figure out like how to hide it or whatever. And my sister, she had um, she, I think both of my sisters, they took it and hid it. They hid it on them or whatever. And then I guess they pulled it. They pulled my mom over because her the the um the something about the plate. Cause you know my dad coming from Detroit. So it was something about the plate. We ended up going back to the motel, you know, talking or whatever. But it was just so awkward to me. I didn't even want to be there no more. I was just like, what the hell? Like, I'm like, what's the point of me being here if this man, my dad, is not even trying to talk to him? Like, he just, it seemed like he was just there to have a good time, just there to drink, just there, hey, what's up? Like, it wasn't on no type where I would think it would be, like, like how I would want it to be. Like, if it was up to me, I would have rather him not have anything to drink, like, any liquor, any beer. And I would have wanted him to talk to us, like, ask us, you know, just, just let, ask us some questions, getting to know us better, you know, tell us some stuff, you know, like, catch up. It didn't feel like that though. It's just so awkward. And so that was the story of me re reuniting with my dad. But thank y'all for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, and click the bell for notifications. And um, subscribe if you didn't. And I will see you in the next video. Go to the moon